Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to hide columns in Excel. You can see here in this Excel, I want to hide few columns. Let's say I want to hide column A. I want to hide column E. So how can we do that? So manually we can select and right click and hide this column. But how can we do this one in UI path? So let me show you how to do that. So first, you have to go to file you need to open any excel file and then go to file then click on options and then click on trust center then trust center settings then click on macro settings and check this checkbox now go to this uipath studio take here one excel application scope double click on that select your excel file now take here one invoke VVA This activity we are going to use to invoke VVA code. We are going to call a method from VVA code So first we should have one VVA code because we need to write down uh, the code to hide columns and then we need to save that as a text file and then we need to pass that file path here we have this one and we need to write this code that is sub and hide single column so this is just a name you can put anything you can put abc or hide hide column something like that only the code main code is that is this one but you need to enter everything in the sub and then subroutine name and end sub now you need to write seeds of raw data so this raw data what is that so this raw data is your seed name so i'm going to hide column from this raw data seed so you need to also specify the seat name and then dot columns in the bracket double quotation you need to put that column name that you want to hide dot hidden equals to true so it will hide that a column from seat raw data now this can be also taken from outside from your in argument and you know that how to use that you can also get help from my previous video I'm going to first show you how to hide a single column that is column A. So this is the text file that we have created. Now let me click on this so that we can select that file. So we have this hide column. Now here we need to pass that entry method. So our entry method it means this subroutine name. So copy this one and then we need to paste that one. Now we are going to run that. So what will happen? It will hide a column so let me run that so you can see here just now column a is hidden now let's say you want to hide multiple columns so there are multiple way you can also copy and you can paste here multiple times and you can say like okay i want to hide column a and then column d and then column e or like i want to hide column a b c so you can do th this way also but instead of doing in this way what you can do if you want to hide columns let's say i want to hide let me first unhide this column so if you want to hide column a then c to d or like you want to hide a c to d and then f to h it means three column and then a column here and then c to d it's been two columns here and one column here and f2 it means three columns here you have a different different requirement so how can you do that so for that we have to just make some changes in this code now we are going to use this one this will help you to hide multiple columns from the different different positions so we have same code seeds of raw data dot columns of a so i want to hide column a and then i want to hide column c to e so it will hide complete c to e now i want to hide let's say only h column so i can write h here i want to hide h to i so i can put here h to j or i so it will hide three columns copy this subroutine name because this is now different now copy this and now paste here save this and now save this excel file also and now we can run this one 
So first it will hide A column, then C2E and then H2I. So you can see here, A column is hidden. Now C2E, so you can see after B, C, D, E. These columns are hidden now. Now H2I, it means H, I. These columns are hidden now. Now after that we have G and J. So by this way you can hide multiple columns based on the multiple positions also. It's not like you just need to hide like C to E. You can also hide a different column here from the same seat. So by this way you can hide columns, single column and multiple columns in Excel sheet using invoke BVA code using invoke VBA activity in UiPath. I hope this is useful. If so, please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you are new to this. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn Blue Prism, please visit my YouTube channel youtube.com slash Blue Prism RPA. And also, if you want to learn Blue Prism from Udemy and you want to get certificate, you can search for my Blue Prism course there. That is Blue Prism RPA complete course. I will also put the link in, in my video description. You can go through that there. Thank you.